My favourite thing about Central Coast Sports College is probably the sport involved as a part of our school day. You get to go in, play the sport you love every day, and then you do your schoolwork and academics on top of that. I really want to become a professional football player. If you want to get good at soccer, there are three things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to just practice your footwork. You need to actually go by yourself and do drills with the ball. I usually juggle or kick the ball against the wall and it comes back to me. It needs to be in your body at some point. And it's sort of the same with maths. You just keep working till that clicks in your head and like you get it right. And this is how the Maths Pathway program is built as well. The modules are like the solo practice. That's just about getting the skills into your body, getting them to be second nature. They'll come in, sit down, get themselves ready, make sure they have a red pen, a blue pen, they've got a charge device, they've got their book, they're ready to go. Making those connections that you can just pull these out when you need them. Then we'll come back together and we generally do an energizer. It's like a time to have a five minute break and try something different to reset your mind on a different math subject. And then there's the mini lessons, which is like that squad practice where you say, hey, we've got a little group, we're all working on the same thing. Let's see if we can get this together. Let's see if we can work together and figure out how to use each other and help each other and really understand this in a deeper way. If you're stuck on a module, then you get to do a mini clinic to help you with that. We can explicitly focus on that topic with maybe two or three other students. The old school chalk and talk, I guess, but we're doing it with small groups. Sit down together, work through the concept. We got out some tools to kind of help us to build a visual map of how to complete the module. There are these things that you do to practice in a more directed way with a team with more coaching. It allows us to group kids and to explicitly meet them where they're at. I don't know of any other program that will give us that platform to be able to help. And finally, there is the rich tasks. And that is the game. And that's where you bring everything together, where you use each other, where you use the skills you've been practicing. It's sort of like a mini lesson, but different. It's like more hands-on playing with stuff. I don't think of it as being maths, I just think of it as a fun activity but they are incorporating everything they know about maths at the same time. I can learn as much during a game than I do during training. You've got to actually get out there and do the real thing. There's no explicit outcome. We're not expecting you to you know, build a giant sandcastle or we're not expecting you to do anything with it. We just want to see where you can go. Trying to bring that challenge and the question back into it, um, sparking their curiosity and again bringing those light bulb moments. And you're actually do the math, you have the rich learning experience that makes the whole thing worth it. You know, you take the boundaries off it and then some kids just fly. That's what the whole point of maths is, isn't it? You learn something, then that helps you with something else, and that thing helps you with something else, and just keeps going. Hard work you put into it is what you get out of it, really. They have a goal of what they want and they will do whatever it takes. They'll put those steps in place to achieve it. If you make a mistake, you're better off thinking about what you could do better in that time instead of dwelling on it. Yeah, that's very similar on the football field. You need to be able to move on, otherwise you won't be able to make better decisions in the game because you're thinking about what you did bad instead of what you can do next. We want to try and instill those same excitement that they have um, for achieving the goals that they want to achieve to get them to achieve the goals that we want them to achieve. Because if you love something, you're going to be more engaged, obviously. So trying to put those same strategies in place, trying to foster that growth mindset to persevere, to practice. You know, the world's best professional football players, they didn't just roll out of bed one morning and suddenly start playing for Liverpool. They had to work for it every single day. They had to put everything on the line and keep pushing, pushing, pushing. There's no kind of set destiny for every person. Every person dictates the destination they get to by what roads they take.